and welcome to my channel. We are just about in graduation season here in Canada. Not sure when everybody graduates in other countries, but here it's usually in June. So I decided to make some little graduation cupcakes with the little grad caps on top. You can obviously do different colors depending on what your school does for your graduation colors. But I did blue icing and then just some red for this part. I couldn't decide if I liked three tassels or two tassels, so you can kind of decide for yourself what you think looks better. I'm not really sure which one I like better. But keep watching and I will show you how to make these. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by making my graduation caps. So you're gonna need some supplies for these. So you're going to need some square chocolate. This is actually rectangle <laughs> shaped, but something that, so these ones have like lines on the top, but I will just flip it around so that that part shows. This is, I just found this at the grocery store. It's just milk chocolate, but you could get um, different kinds of chocolate if you wanted something. They are just little rectangles like this. So you're gonna need that. And then I'm using Reese's. So these are, Reese's Miniatures is what they are called. So it's like a Reese's, but the shape is a little bit more like the shape that I'm going for. And then for the top of the cap, where there's like the tassel kind of thing that comes down, I'm using Twizzlers. These are called Twizzler Pull and Peel. And so I'm just going to peel off some pieces like this. I wanted to do my red but obviously you could do other colors. And then to go like on top of the tassels, I'm going to use red M&Ms so that it matches. So obviously you'll just use a different color if you're doing a different color scheme. So I'm just gonna pick out some red M&Ms and I'll just flip them over so that the M doesn't show. And then for these, I just need to cut them so that they are the right length. So I'm just gonna kind of picture how long I want them and then make like a little bundle that are all the same length. Okay, now you could definitely just attach all of these things together using the icing that you're using for the cupcakes. If you just have your buttercream icing, you can definitely just use that. If that is all that you have, that's definitely just an easy way to do it. I'm going to melt some milk chocolate and attach it using the milk chocolate just because my icing that I'm putting on the cupcakes is blue, so if it shows through, it will like be blue. But you can definitely do that with buttercream icing. It works good to kind of glue things together. So that's one option, or you can do it the way that I'm gonna do it with milk chocolate. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a piece of parchment paper. You can put it on a cookie sheet. I'm just gonna put it on a plate. So after you attach them, I'm just gonna set them on there to harden. And then I just have some milk chocolate and I'm gonna put some in a bowl, microwave safe bowl, and pop these in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time on half power, stirring in between each interval. Okay, so my chocolate is melted. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Reese's and I'm just gonna put like a tiny bit of chocolate on the bottom. And then I'm gonna attach it to my chocolate. And then I'll just set it aside upside down like this to harden. Just a tiny little bit. Place this on top. Good. And then I'm just going to let those harden before I do the next step. For the cupcakes, I'm using some blue icing, just buttercream icing, and the Wilton 1M tip. This is like my most go-to tip when I'm just doing cupcakes like this. And I'm just gonna pop it in a decorating bag and fill this up with my icing. Okay, so I just kinda want like a bit of a mountain, nice little, 
So I'm just gonna start by making a layer like this. And then I'm going to build up on it. Like that. I'm um, also doing just some little mini ones. For the mini ones, you can kind of just build it up right away into a little, little mini mountain. Okay, these are all good now. I also popped them in the fridge so they're a little cold. And we're gonna flip them over like this. So we can attach stuff on top. I just put my chocolate in a little bottle just to make it easier, but totally not necessary. I'm gonna make a little dollop on top and then stick these guys into there. And then put another little dollop on top of them. and add my red M&M. Like that. And then I'm just gonna pop it back in the fridge so it hardens nice. So just a little dollop. Boop. Just got everything parted on there and then I'm just gonna pop them in the fridge. Okay, these are been in the fridge so the chocolate's nice and hardened and all we have to do is attach it to the top. So I'm just going to push it down like this. Just like that. So we have a cute little grad hat on top. Okay, so this is the finished product of our little grad cap cupcakes. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial for how to make some grad cupcakes. These are super easy and I think they'll also be yummy because these are Twizzlers and you get an M&M and you get a Reese's and some chocolate and a bunch of icing, so it's really a good cupcake to eat as well. Make sure to like and subscribe, and congrats to all the people who are graduating, whether it's from high school or university or a master's degree, whatever you're graduating from. Congratulations, and I'll see you next time.